Assalamualaikum and I wish a good day to everyone that watching. Today I would like to introduce you to my system. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Hanizah Hira. And today I would like to introduce you to my system which named as Book Record System. This system can be implemented in a library system because it has almost the same function as a library system. But it also has the uh, function which is it will store any record of a book that is uh, available or exists in the library. So user, for as a library user, it will save a lot of user time uh, instead of going shelf to shelf to find a book only to find out that the book is not even exist or available to borrow in the library. So this is the main page for the book record system. User will be given four choices to enter whether new registration is borrower. This is for a new user if the email is not being registered in the system yet, so you have to register it first before login. And second is login as borrower, third login as admin, and fourth exit. So I will I will show you the login as borrower first, and then later on I will show you the registration as a borrower. So this is the borrower login page. User are required to enter email. For example, enter um, a wrong email. So as you can see, it will display error statement, wrong email or password, and you have to enter Y to try again. This time we entered the correct email. enter a right, e right email and right password, it will, bro it will brought you to a borrower menu page and it will display your name and your ID. So this is the menu for the borrower. It can update their detail. You can view book, all the list of books that is available in library and search book and borrowing book. Also list of books that, that user borrowed and lastly log out. So now we go to the number one first. This is what happened if user entered a wrong Choices, for example, currently we have six choices only and user entered choice seven, which is not available in the system. So it will come out a statement, enter wrong, you enter wrong input and you have to choose one until six only. So if you want to update the detail, user can update the detail. For example, user want to change their password. So user can choose three to choose their, to change their password. So as you can see, the password already changed from Ahmad Abid to Nabil only. So if you use the press Y, it will use a lot to change another body self detail. And if user do not want to change, user will click five. So now user can view all the book list. So this is all list of book that that is exist and available in the library. So as you can see, in here it has a book ID, the title, the genre, the author, and availability. Availability it means that if the book is available or not to borrow. So for book number one, two, three, it is not available to borrow. For other book is available to borrow. And this is summarization of this uh, book, which is in the system currently we have 14 books. And it has a total number of genre is 12, which means any genre that is same, for example, like mystery, will be counted as one only. And it, it seems goes to the author. So now we go to press Y to continue. Now, this is what happened if user want to search book. It will be given choices, whether they want to search book through title, genre, or author. So if user want to choose book through title, for example, user enter the word letter A. So it will display all the book that have the letter A in it, like Excel, A, A, big A. But if user entered 
a title, specific title, title like Excel. So we only display a title Excel only. This same goes for other part, for example, general. Let's say user enter a genre which is not exists in the system, for example, like. So we will state the book you are looking to not exist. It means no book general inspiration is existing in the system. So now we go to the borrowing book. User are allowed to borrow a book. But what happens if user enter a book which is currently not available to borrow? So it will input, uh, it will display a statement which is book is currently not available. User not allowed to borrow this book, press enter to continue. So if user entered a book which is available to borrow, for example, like book number six. User need to enter a date, a date the date they are borrowing a book, for example, 18. 2021. So we display statement successfully borrowing book and this is the transaction ID and this is the date where user need to return the book. So if user press Y it will go it will do the same thing as before and if user press no and it will bring back to the menu. So user can can view all list of book that user borrowed for example number five. So currently Ahmad Nabil has borrowed two books and this is the, the status which is not written, not written. And the status payment is no fine. This status payment will only be changed by admin if admin found out that user is uh, has not yet written the book on due and will change to overdue and user have to pay a fine. So now we have logout. Okay, now we go to the registration as borrower first. User have to enter the name, for example, number. And this is what happened if user enter email which is already exists in the system. We will output a statement, email is ready as this, press enter to try again. So if user successfully registered, it will display a statement you have been registered. Welcome to Book Record System. Now you can try to log in. Gmail.com. So it will go the same as before. So now we try to log in as admin. This will be have uh, if you enter a wrong password, will come out a statement wrong email or password as be like before. So user need to enter a right password and email. So this is admin admin menu menu page, and admin have nine choices. And if admin entered a choices which is not available, so it came out a statement wrong input. So for the choices number one, system is info. As you can see, this is, will this will display all the borrower info, all this uh, info of user of the system that registered in the system. So far we have seven user. And admin can delete user or update user. So if admin want to delete user, you have to choose D. And this is what happened if user entered an ID which is currently active uh, active user. Like Ahmad Nabil just now just borrowed a book, it's still an active user. So if entered borrow ID 6, 
to came out statement to ensure to remove this. You want to remove this user and yes, you came out statement cannot delete because this user is an active user because now Ahmad Nabil just now has borrowed a book so it, it is an active user. But what happened if like if uh, I mean delete a user like Nabila which never borrow any book? You came out statement this user this user has been removed and now you can see that the name Nabila is not read not read uh, not ready in system no longer in the system now admin can update the user info as well for let's say the user forget the password so as a borrower need to go to the admin to change the password so user allowed admin allowed to enter any borrow ID that they want to update for example enter number five so admin can change any of their info for example they want to change the info like the email as you can see the email already changed compared to before Now we go to the number two option, which is to view all list of book. Is it the same as before? It will display the availability of book, the author, genre, and title, and also book ID. So admin uh, admin can add book. Example, want to add book uh, and see. Friends, so book is successfully added to system. Do you want to add another book? If yes, it will bring the same as as this page. If no, it will go to the menu page. So now admin also allowed to update book info. For example, this is what happened if admin enter a book ID which is not exist. So we came out statement wrong ID. So if user want to change the info for book ID 14, user can admin can update whether you want to update the title or general or author. So let's say you want to update a general. Admin need to, to add new info that you want to update. So as you can see, the info already changed from reference non fake to reference only. Now we go to return book, which is for example, borrower want to return a book. So this will display, which is the transaction ID, the title of the book, the borrower's name, the status payment, the status return, and this one, is um, null because the currently the borrower have not yet written the books. So once they return the book, this one with this will be changed. This is the supposed to return it. Suppose uh, the borrower supposed to return the book. So you want to continue? Yes. You just have to enter a correct transaction ID. But if you enter a wrong transaction ID and a wrong book ID, for example. You, and you will say mismatch ID between transaction and book ID because user need to enter a correct ID for transaction and book ID. So enter a date which the book was written. For example, it was written on one day late. So as you can see, the status we change from not written to written, and date book written already changed from null to the date the book was written. So now admin can change the borrowing status, which is, as you can see here, Ahmad Nabil written the book late compared to the supposed written date. The borrower is supposed to return the book at twenty third. But Ahmad Abi written the book on 24th, which means it is overdue. 
So admin need to change the status from no fine to overdue. So admin have to enter the transaction ID, which is it. And admin will be given a choice to change to overdue if book was written late. And no charge if borrower return book on a return date. So since Ahmad Nabi just now is a, he written the book late. So we have to change to overdue. So the status payment will change from no fine to overdue. If you click on the update borrowing status once again, you will see that Ahmad Nabi name will not, the book transaction ID Ahmad Nabi name will not already in the system because the status already changed from no fine to overdue. Now we change the, now we go to the penalty calculation. So as you can see, since Ahmad Nabi is overdue, it has a, it has a fine to pay. So this, at this page, it will only display list of borrowing info book that have been written and overdue. So enter transaction. So in here we can see that the borrow date is 18 and the date books were supposed to return is on 23rd but the book was written on 24. So total day books was written is one day late and enter to the date book was written late one day. So the fine that Ahmad Abed has to pay is 0 0.5, which means one day late, uh, one day late, borrower have to pay uh, 50 cents for every day that is being late. So if you want to update the status payment, let's say the borrower uh, want to pay. So admin will change the status from overdue to paid. So as you can see, penalty calculation will become, the list will become empty because all borrower have paid or return book on due. Lastly, we go to the report generate, which uh, user can view the book report from borrower, which is uh, how many books was already been borrowed by, like say, Phil Laika has borrowed three books in total, Shami has borrowed one book in total, Ahmad Nabil 2 and this is total use of the system 5 because it, uh, it will count even the non-active user. So total active borrower is 4. Now we go to book report. So you can see this overall book report which it has 15 book, total gender 12, total author 13. And for overall of for overall author report, it will show how many book be written by this author. For example, like Stephen King has three book written, and it written three genre different genre. So for the genre, it will display how many genre how many books for the genre. For example, like reference, we have three three book which the gender is reference and number of author being written is three. This same goes for other book. So that's all for my system. Thank you very much.